just walking home for the day. The reason I'm walking is because my fucking car broke down this morning. I don't know what's wrong with it. Pushed the little start stop button and it wouldn't turn on saying something to do with the electric and uh, I didn't have time to mess around with it so I just got an Uber to the gym and then my girlfriend dropped me back off at home and I just went down to the Mexican restaurant at the corner so I'm just walking home but it's a beautiful night out and it's a good fucking walk so I'm enjoying it and it gives me a chance to make this video before I get home and get lazy today at the gym um, we had three consultations um, from people coming in through the ads and I didn't sell any today, zero. We had three people sign up, but it wasn't for the ads, it was just regular memberships. But uh, the three consultations I had today, I did zero sales. The objections I got today was all money. Everyone uh, was telling me that they didn't have enough money. They couldn't afford it and that um, they want to do it, but they, they couldn't afford it. So I couldn't overcome that, the money objection today, which uh, I think two of the people were like, really didn't have the money. Like they really wanted to, but they, they really didn't have the money. Um, but one of the guys, I know that I just didn't do a good enough job in uh, convincing him that this was right for him. Uh, I know he had a little bit because uh, uh, I could just tell that, you know, I just didn't do a good enough job that he wanted it. He was making some excuses. Um, yesterday, we had a, a guy, you know, if when, when people leave, when people leave and they say, oh, I'll be back, they never come back. You know, they could give you their word. They could promise their whole life on it. And they are not coming back. There's no way. And, uh, you know, I'm starting, to really, I'm starting to tell more and more that, you know, once they start going, oh, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then as soon as I get home, I'm going to call you and I'm going to come back. I already know that, you know, fuck, I haven't done a good enough job and these are going to be too many objections to overcome. This guy's trying to get out. Because we had a guy um, yesterday start telling me about his business and how successful his business is and this, that and the other. And then, um, you know, when I told him how much it was at the end, he was like, hmm, I just got to go home and, uh, you know, I got to talk about it with my girlfriend and... You know, I've got to make sure it's in their finances and stuff. And then uh, I kind of knew, I was like, oh, straight away, I, said, I, I messed up somewhere. You know, I didn't make him think that it was valuable enough. But it's hard to tell if, like, yeah, this guy was talking about this business the whole time, if it was just bullshit or not. But it doesn't matter anyway. But uh, it was pretty funny that, you know, he was telling us, these uh oh, I'm gonna go home and talk about it with my wife and I kind of knew I was like oh, I already lost it or whatever but I was kind of going along with it and uh, I got Brian to like go along with it as well and we were kind of just seeing what he would go and what lengths he would go to to like just set, to just not tell us that he didn't want to do it <laughs> but anyway he was telling us oh, I'm gonna go home and talk about it with my wife or with my girlfriend and you know I gotta make sure that she can uh you know cook the meals for me and then um Oh, we're going to talk about it and, you know, we'll come back. And, and I said, let's call her right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, no, she's at work. I'm like, oh, she works for you, doesn't she? Because he told me before she works for me. He's like, yeah, 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 she works for me. I'm like, oh, aren't you the boss? He's like, yeah, I'll call her up, man. He goes, oh, she's busy. And um, he's like, we, we just need to talk about it at home. And uh, anyway, kind of long story short, he was telling us that, uh, you know, he uh, he was going to go home and and talk. And, do it from home because uh, at the end of all that he said oh you know what actually I'll do it but I forgot my uh, my card it's at home so I told him you know you got a mobile banking app we'll just pull it up there and he's like oh no I don't have it I'm gonna go home and do it so anyway uh, when he gets home I had Brian call him and of course the the phone is is uh, hang up on you every five seconds so I'm not trying to be a crazy salesman and like chase these people down and everything you know if it's not worth it it's not worth it there's next and uh we are trying our best to make sure that they understand how valuable this is for them and we really only want people that are going to take it serious you know we don't want people that are going to be that i have to force to get in it's just not I'm, I'm not worth it i do work with a company gym launch that does talk about these things and have to do all these sales 
and objection overcomes and so but i really skip through that a lot um I, I do practice the techniques but at the end of the day i i i really don't push too hard on people in um in the objections if, if i've got too many objections i haven't done a good enough job of explaining of explaining it because if people really see it for what it is i mean they're going to be they're going to want to do it if they really need help and um you know i'm not going to force someone to do it because then i don't want them in there anyway and i'm starting to be able to tell who who i need just need to push a little bit more to make a decision and who i'm not gonna i'm who i have to fight to like get in and uh in in the instances i've had actually two instances where i've like you know pushed it a little bit just to see how far i could actually get someone to go and and i get the sale you know and in one of them i i returned the guy's money because i didn't want him in the gym he was just a, he was just a nuisance and um the other one the guy just gave me problems all the time um because i gave him a little bit of a discount up front and then the second charge that i gave him he he was just he was just a headache man so i kind of learned my lesson on that i don't don't force them they have to make their own decision um, the people that do they fucking love it we have like every day i get a message saying how how good they're feeling and then how happy they are and how it's changing their lives and improving everything at home and you know that just feels so much better than having to fight someone to make uh, a payment or to, to come and join our gym so i've definitely gotten over that and even with today's ones you know the people that came in today i'll i'll, I'll give them the full rundown of how it works but then after that i don't really push any further on it kind of just like you know here it is and yes or no I do maybe a couple little little things just to find out why they don't want to do it or whatever. But then after that, it's just, you know, if they don't want to do it, it's next. And um, we'll help you out the best we can. But I'm not here to fight you for joining at my gym. We're actually pretty full. We have 134 members. I think I'm going to cap it at 150. After that, I'll start creating some waiting lists and then kind of go into the next phase of what I want to run. And I'll kind of tell you a little bit about that as we go. But I'm going to cap it at 150 members. And I think I can get another 20 members in by the end of the year. Maybe. We'll see. But right now, one of the things I'm working on is uh, supplements. I'm creating some supplements for the gym. Some protein powder. Some creatine. Pre-workout. And uh, a brain. A focus. Uh, like a, a, a brain and focus. Um pills there's just a combination of different things so i think they'd be really beneficial for the people and uh, and also, also for myself there's supplements i take every day anyway so i'm just going to create my own and put my own label on it i've been working with a company now kind of going back and forth and i found one that i like all the all the ingredients are made here in america um it's all organic and you know they're they're a great company the I think uh, I think we can do good things with. Um, I'll, I'll keep kind of talking about it as we go with the name that I'm coming up with and how it's all going to look. But hopefully by the early, early next year, we'll start having our own supplements in the gym. And instead of me sending someone to Walmart or something to go get protein powder or pre-workout, we'll have it all there, all on brand. And I'm really excited about that also give the young boys something to sell you know give make them all little affiliates especially the young kids you know the, the youth group they can sell it to all their friends and, and make some money as well i think that'll be pretty good it's just basic stuff i'm not going to go into the full fucking vitamin and nutrition world but just a few basic things that everyone uses i think it'll be really really good and kind of targeting the boxers and the fighters I want to say the name, but I don't want to put it out there yet. But I'll, I'll have it all up in the next few weeks. Other than that, I will start making some more training videos. I've been doing my early morning sessions and still getting distracted in the boxing gym where I haven't really figured out how to switch all that off yet. But this coming week, I'll definitely be a lot more disciplined in the boxing gym and really guard my time in there. 
and take that, you know, treat that more of a priority and not let people take advantage of my time in the, in the gym when I'm training. So that way I can stay focused and not, you know, worried about other things. You know, my, when my car, when my car didn't start this morning, I didn't even get too mad about it. I was, I was just kind of like, oh, well, I don't know why. Now I'm like, fuck, I, now I'm thinking about, I'm thinking, fuck, I gotta fix this stupid car. But I got a warranty on it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Just figuring out how to fucking get it fixed and who do I gotta call to take it to, you know. Not having a car for a day, you realize how important it is to, to have it. But, you know, in Vegas, you need three things. You need a car, you need a house, and you need a job. You know, without those three things, it's very, very hard to survive in Las Vegas. But if you have them, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. You need a car here because Vegas isn't that big if you have a car, but it's huge if you don't. Everything's fucking miles away and there's no public transport. Well, there is public transport, but it's just, you know, take an hour to get you a half, it'll take you an hour to get across the city. Whereas in a car, it'll take you 10 minutes. So you need a car here, you need a house, and you need a job. If you have those three, you know, you're pretty solid. So I'm without one today, but I do have uh, Uber and a girlfriend, so I'm pretty lucky there. Anyway, I'm getting back to the house now, just crossing the road. I love the area that I live in. It is pretty nice. I could walk around here all night. But The house. It's crazy how they built this. It's like this beautiful little city, but right across the street, out of this little built town right here, it gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty serious. It gets pretty rough with uh, crackheads and stuff. But right here, it's like a dreamland. So, anyway, back at the house. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.